Last week, we went to Henley Royal Regatta by boat. It was brilliant to attend such a fun event from the water and we spent four days going up and down the race course, watching races and soaking up the lively atmosphere. Getting out of Henley from on Sunday when Henley Regatta finished it took a long while to leave and we ended up not filming any of it. Emergency stopping for two days somewhere in the middle of nowhere and then cruising after work and having to stop again overnight in a place that we didn't want to stay so we only stopped there for one night realizing there was no internet and waking up at 6 a.m the next day to cruise again before work on the weekday uh, to find a place where we can actually work and while that happened i did the classic thing of leaving the mallet I've got the mallet saved for the second time. So luckily I got it back, but this mallet doesn't seem to want to come with us very often. I'll put the link there for the video when it happened the first time. And that was pretty traumatic, it was a pretty traumatic day. We're getting a very close to a turnaround point on the river. The final destination for this year is Windsor. And apparently we're only three, two to three hours away. Not sure where we're gonna go, but tomorrow is 100% chance of rain. So we are making the move today to find a nice mooring for the weekend. Since I forgot the mallet twice already, I think I should never do the pins ever again. Yeah, fine. Sounds good. She left the mallet how many times? Twice. That means that you are the one trusted with the pins from now on. Yeah, I think you need to practice. No, I don't need to practice. I obviously not doing very well. Roses are coming out. Oh, yes. Move, move. Yes, we do. Making moves, trying to get away from this life I'm living. Same old things every day. Wanna change this feeling? Wasting no more time, don't care about what you say. the night so I don't have too much to drink. Good morning. We're still moored by the restaurant. Uh, we haven't left yet. I found there is a supermarket nearby so I need to go get some food. We are completely out of all fresh food um, and then we might pop in for breakfast and set off for the day. Really glad it's not raining so hopefully it won't rain for a while today and we get some miles before it starts bucketing down.
In the lock on the river, it is advisable to use both bow and stern lines, especially when sharing with other boats. The weather report changed again in our favour. It looks like it's only going to rain for two hours today and from tomorrow it's going to start being dry, which is what we want to see in summer. So we're heading to Windsor today, aren't we? We're going to pop in and see Grandma Liz. Yeah, it should only be about two and a half hours away from where we are and it's been forecasted to rain all weekend. Not anymore, I think it's changed this morning. I think it just don't believe the weather. It just is, you know? Yeah, it's just drizzle. It's a little bit of drizzle, so it's still summer, you've got to remember that. I need to get the car. God, I can't remember, where's the car? Henley. Henley, right, okay. How did you get to Henley? long way. It's not one of the cycle or the scooter can't fix that one, can it? We dropped up fuel a week ago in Henley, so we're okay. Clear gas, but I'm wondering actually whether we wait for the little one to run out. Yeah, I think we should. we should. So it basically cuts out the fuel stop, so we can do more in the next one. It's all new territory for us. Never been here before, this is exciting. This full-size replica of the Hawker Hurricane aircraft is a memorial to Sir Sidney Calm, a Windsor resident who designed this plane, which played a significant part in the Battle of Britain in 1940. It was powered by the Rolls-Royce Merlin engine and also was the only fighter aircraft to serve in every British theatre during World War II. The origins of Windsor Castle go to 11th century, after the Norman invasion of England by William the Conqueror. Windsor Castle was built as a motte and bailey with three wards surrounding a central mound. Thank you. 
We are walking away from Windsor Castle. This beautiful road that just stretches for miles. For me? And, All for me? Yeah, and I think the further away we're going to get, the more of the castle we're going to see. We have the best view uh, in this morning. Thank you very much. Okay, Phil. What time do we need to check out? <laughs> You're okay till this time tomorrow. Okay, we'll have a wonderful time on the river in Windsor. Thank you very much. Thank you very have much. Have a nice evening. We'll love, we'll love to see you. You can't meet that. Beautiful. You can't, can you? You have the best view. Thank you. See you later. Windsor Castle was used as a refuge by the royal family during the bombing campaigns of the Second World War and it survived a fire in 1992. That fire happened at the time while parts of the castle were being renovated and it's believed that one of the spotlights being used in the work set fire to a curtain. Many of the rooms closest to the fire had been emptied as a part of the renovation work, so many of the collections were saved. Apart from the fire itself, the major damage was actually done by the water, as the firefighters used one and a half million gallons to extinguish it. Some parts of the castle took 20 years to dry up. The next morning I witnessed the funniest scene. On the boat across the river, three naughty dogs ran around the gunnels hiding from their owner while he was trying to call them back in. Then my view was obstructed by a funny looking convertible, sometimes a boat, sometimes a bus, with a horn sounding like a duck. Tell me about the weird crisp experience that happened yesterday. We bought some crisps on TK Maxx yesterday, didn't we? They were egg flavoured crisps and there was no egg in them. And they tasted so, so eggy. They were so eggy. It was literally like eating a fried egg, but without the egg. egg. <laughs> they were so good, they were really nice. It was the most bizarre thing. We're going for a row around uh, Windsor Island. That's to get the water out. Mm -hmm. Is this it's the... been so nice on the canals, Mark. Are you happy on the canals? Very happy. Are you never going back to the river? Can you guess where we are? Are you at Windsor way? Are you at Windsor? Yeah, we're at Windsor. Windsor Castle should be right behind my head somewhere. I spent the whole rowing experience being a phone holder. <laughs> The bump is really good. Yeah, if it comes off this time, I'm gonna get metal ones. It just does the job as well. It does the job and it looks smart. I mean, ideally the rope would be thicker, but we had this rope available and it does the job. And it's so Henla Rudder and Windsor Rudder. <laughs> Good that is. What flavour is it? We've got chocolate caramel, 
Yeah, it's nice. It's got chunks of caramel in it. We were supposed to move today but it is Sunday and we decided to have a lazy day instead. So we've done nothing, we've been out and about in town so we're not going anywhere. We decided to stay here for another night with the castle view and move tomorrow after work instead. Still can't believe that we're moored next to a castle. So a week ago I've decided to uh, start a new project and I decided to crochet a market bag. I find crochet very, very calming and sometimes I do it just for this purpose, for, uh, for stress release and often my pro problem is I don't know what to crochet because I don't know what I need. So for a while I didn't need anything. The other reason for the bag was to make something in the really bright colors because I believe that looking at bright, cheerful colors kind of make you happier. Making a bright yellow bag solely for the purpose of making me feel better and looking at bright colors. So I do need it, I would definitely use it, but it was never my first, <laughs> never my first priority. It's time to leave the magical Windsor and find a quiet mooring outside the town where we can get back to our routine and have access to the car. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Thank you dear viewers for watching this video. As always we would be very grateful if you click the like button and leave us a comment to support us here on YouTube. Big thanks to our Patreons and PayPal supporters for making these videos possible. If you want to see bonus episodes like the very first vlog we've ever made or captain vlogs, take part in Zoom calls or watch these videos early, join our Patreon family. Sending you all our love, see you in the next one.